uh, William Britt here again. I uh, just got a quick video for you guys. You know, people have been asking me questions as to why they're not getting sign-ups and things of that nature. Um, I'm just going to address the issue really quick. Um, some of you guys, you have to get out of the habit of not answering your phone when you see a, a number that you're not familiar with or if a name doesn't pop up. Okay, you have to answer your phone, you know, you have to be willing to answer your phone, okay? When you see a number that you're not familiar with, that could be a customer or a sign-up, okay? You guys are in the habit of not answering your phone, you know, as soon as you join, I know for myself, a lot of people that join with me, I would go to call them and they don't pick up the phone. Why? Because they don't recognize the number guys got to get out of that habit okay then you hear complaints about um, my sponsor never contacted me I can't get in contact with my sponsor well maybe your sponsor has tried to call you and you didn't pick up the phone because you didn't recognize the number okay I'm here in Atlanta I have a 201 area code which is a Jersey area code because I never changed my number because of the size of my downline and that'll be total chaos if I was to change my phone number Okay, you have to start answering your phone, especially if you have offline marketing material, you know, you're passing out flyers, you might have your phone number on there, and you're not picking up your phone. You have to pick up the phone. Not only that, you have to sound professional when you pick up the phone. Okay, you can't pick up the phone, you know, sounding unprofessional. You know, I get calls all day, all night, as late as sometimes one o'clock in the morning. And if I'm asleep, I'm picking up the phone, okay? I'm gonna wake up really quick, <clears throat> shake it off, you know, clear my throat, <clears throat> pick up the phone, and sound professional when I do, okay? Another thing, if you're promoting on Facebook and you have pictures of you hung over in a club with bottles of alcohol and things like that that's not going to cut it you have to be professional you have to learn how to separate your personal life from business this is a serious business for serious people the faster you understand that the quicker you'll see results okay um, furthermore your email addresses okay you gotta get a professional email address such as um, I don't know I'm just making up something uh, join motor club of America at gmail.com you can't have uh, get money with pookie uh, 911 at gmail.com or um, racked up shorty at yahoo.com it's not gonna cut it People are not going to take you serious, and that's just the bottom line. You got to be professional about it. Another reason why you guys are not having success or seeing any results with MCA is because you don't have any videos up on YouTube. Okay? <clears throat> you have to start putting up some videos on YouTube. I hear all of the excuses. Um, I don't like the way I look on camera. I don't like the way I sound on camera. Blah, blah, blah. Okay? You have to do things that you're not comfortable with to get results. Okay? That's just the bottom line. Nobody knows that you're in business if no one knows that you're in business. Okay? So you can be a member of MCA and you're not putting the word out, you know, you're not putting any videos up. People can't get a feel of you, if, you know, as to who you are. And that's just a problem, okay? You have to start putting some videos up on YouTube. You'll be surprised as to how many emails I get, how many phone calls I get. You know, people wanting to join or have questions, and they say things like, um, I was looking at uh, a couple of YouTube videos and um, I came across one of your videos so I thought I'd reach out to you and um, ask you a few questions or maybe to sign up. 
either or, you know. I get both calls. People just wanting to join because they did their research on it. People want to act, want have questions they need answered. And how did they find me? On YouTube. Just like you're watching me right now, okay? You have to put yourself in position in front of people that are already looking for the opportunity if you want to see results. If you're tired of uh, explaining it to people, um, contacting family and friends, inboxing people on Facebook that have no idea what MCA is, and you have to break it down to, to them or explain it to them, and you're getting frustrated, well, maybe you need to try something different. And YouTube is free. Once you do the work one time, it's there. It's promoting for you 24 hours, seven days a week. Okay? You have to start putting up some YouTube videos. Um, what else do I have for you guys? Um, that's basically it. This is just going to be a quick video. You know, just answering some questions as to uh, why people are not seeing any results. So, again, you want to start answering your phone. If you see it, a call from out of state or anywhere, you know, that you're not familiar with, you want to start picking up your phone. It could be a sponsor. It could be uh, somebody interested in some information on MCA. And you're not picking up your phone. Guess what? You just lost a potential sale or a membership or an enrollment, whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, and again, clean up your Facebook page. You know, I see people's Facebook pages and they, you know, have pictures of weapons, um, hungover, they're popping bottles, they um, have marijuana in their pictures. You think I'm kidding, but I've seen it all have to clean up your page or either create another Facebook page just for Motor Club of America. Okay? Um, that's about it. Um, until next time, bye for now.